A big announcement from the city of Toledo. The Police Athletic League, or PAL, in North Toledo is getting a $1.1 million multi-purpose athletic field. Michael Sandlin explains it's not just about adding sports. It's also an opportunity to develop Toledo's young people into productive adults. It might not look like much right now, but city leaders and police see the potential for great things in this field. Okay, so once the field is complete, um, we hope to have uh, obviously baseball, we're going to have soccer, uh, flag football. And their eye for potential doesn't stop there. PAL program director Sergeant Ron Paris says they use athletics programs as opportunities to mentor local youth. And the more they can offer, the more people they can reach. Most of our uh, kids are at risk and a lot of things are missing at home from those kids, uh, such as uh, guidance. And so when we get them into our program, the whole um, goal is to give them something to do, particularly after school. Paris says it's in those critical after school hours that kids often make choices they can't take back. So getting them involved puts them on the right path. Well-known athletes like Zaya Cook and Jared Anderson are graduates of the program. Uh, ever since leaving military service, I've always wanted to work with young people and having an opportunity that George Crawl, Chief Crawl has given me, it's, it's a dream come true. And this project is only a portion of the 100 programs the city has offered for kids in 2022, all funded with American Rescue Plan dollars. If this is the, the time that um, is remembered as a time where we put focus on kids, well, that would be a wonderful legacy uh, to look back on 20 years from now. Construction on the field is expected to be complete this Thanksgiving, and people can look forward to it being open next spring. Reporting in North Toledo, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.